Hey, I'm Paul Outlaw. It's time. Time to tune up Castle. All right, well, the first thing I'm going to do to do this tune up is I'm going to take the hood off. Because as you guys know, and if you don't know, Castle now has a 25 horse V-twin Briggs Intec motor. Um, and there's not a lot of room. Like, you can barely get a ratchet with a spark plug socket down there. Um, I figured, screw it, and just take the hood off. It's two bolts, it takes, you know, two minutes, so we're gonna do that. Pull the hood off. I have so much more access without the hood on it. Just opens everything up. Super easy to take off. Hey, a little outlaw, you in here to help? Guess what? All right, so what I'm about to do is change the air filter, change the spark plugs, oil filter obviously the oil um and i'm gonna do new fuel line new fuel filter new shut off valve everything and here's what i'm using a uh, briggs fuel line you don't have to use all name brand stuff but it was at the store and the prices were actually decent so i went with them um Briggs oil, Briggs fuel line, this is just some extra fuel line. I got a local parts store. Some new NGK plugs, Briggs oil filter, Briggs shutoff valve, knockoff filter, and a Briggs air filter. Um, I believe strongly in using name brand oil uh, air filters always, just because for the extra $2, it's so worth it to buy the exact fit. Let's screw that. Boom. As you can see, this one's beat, mangled, and messed up. Looks like somebody jammed something down through there. Alright, let's get the spark plug. Pull this boot. Pull this boot. And get this one while we're right here. It's terrible trying to do it looking through the camera. It's not terrible, not the best, but not terrible. Where's that crappy old filter? Right there. terrible either but still gonna change them okay so that oil filter is on there way too tight i can't do it by hand i'm getting some oil filter pliers some people hate these i love these things man that thing is on there If that was ever changed. It must have, because it's not a Briggs. Time to pull this drain plug. Check it with all mowers, but it just makes a freaking mess. I'm not a fan of how much oil goes with these stupid pressure loop motors. Can't really say stupid, but just this point right now, I'm a little frustrated with. It's a mess. Um, some nice NGKs. 
That was what my, the plugs that were in this cross to. BKR6E-11-2756. Uh, <clears throat> -E you want to film? No. Okay. thought I was going to have my little outlaw filming system right there, but you're not feeling it. <laughs> Now, I'm going to head over here. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Let's go down there, over there. Is that the new filter? With oil. Oil filter's on. Now, I'll put the drain plug in. Now, right, so we'll put the new air filter on. Little outlaw's going to do it for me, right? Nice. All right, tear that thing out of there, buddy. it over. Yeah. Okay, nice and easy. Center of that. Now look, so this rubber fit down there. Hold on. Legit Briggs parts. This goes. Easy. No, no, no. We're not forcing anything. Can you hold the camera for a minute? Get your fingers out of there. That's funny. You don't want to line up. And that was a pain to get in there. That's in. Yeah, right, well, air cleaner's on, oil filter's on, drain plugs in, spark plugs are in. Time to put in this oil. Oil in there? Huh? Is there oil in there? I can't, I can't see it. Can't see if there's any in there? No. Okay. It's too dark. Oh, okay. It looks like a lot, but that's a super small funnel. Getting there. These V twins take a bit of oil. Apparently, the whole 48 ounce container. This thing hasn't even been started, so the filter is not even completely full. Hmm. I might have to run to the parts store and get some other straight 30. Uh, I might have some. <laughs> Now when I take this off, I'm gonna change all this fuel line, the shut off, the fuel filter. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep all these clamps, because they still work, but I got new ones. 
Um, I might keep maybe one piece of this fuel line as a just in case, depending on how much I have extra. But it's always good to have fuel line. Never know when or if you're gonna need it or if a buddy's gonna need it. All right, so I disconnected it and pulled it all around here. So put it down that, and it's draining. I to build the fuel line, obviously just as it is, instead of being sitting on the ground over there, sitting on a milk crate, run it over here. I'm just gonna rebuild it here. Um, Bergen and Stratton fuel line, Bergen and Stratton shut off, and a knockoff fuel folder. Um, bunch of clamps here. Might have to reuse a clamp, maybe, maybe two. I don't know yet. There's two there, two on that length, and I'll need two on this length. So I'll have to reuse two of them. This is Briggs and Stratton part number 5414. Um, it says how much fuel line there is here. No, it doesn't say the length. <clears throat> but I'm guessing there's about two feet here. Uh, with the four of the squeeze style clamps. Yeah, it's about two feet. Cool. So start matching up this oh it looks like this is gonna be enough and I'm not gonna need a need to get into that other bit that I bought I got from the parts store which is great because now instead of holding and saving some fuel line some of the old stuff like I mentioned before I'll throw the old stuff away and since I've already paid for that and it really wasn't that expensive I'll uh I'll just put that whole chunk right in the fuel, in the toolbox, along with this. There's a little outlaw coming in and say hi. Um, <laughs> and all the other spare clamps that I take off the old one. And the spare shutoff. And uh, I'll just put it in the toolbox, just to have just in case. Alright, so what I did is I connected it up under the fuel tank. I didn't try to show you because it's dark and it's a pain in the ass. Um, so I'm going to run it as it's supposed to be flow arrow this way and I'm going to put it right in this little holder and it's going to go up onto the fuel pump <laughs> move this little bad boy over that's in place that's in place turn the valve on and uh That'll be that. Um, by the way, a few minutes ago, I was uh, FaceTiming with a friend of mine in England. He, um, <clears throat> what he is, he was a, a super fan, basically. He had messaged me, told me he was watching all of my videos from start to finish. Can you believe that? From the very first video to the newest video. And this was like two years ago when he told me. A little floss action, dude. Yeah, I'm getting it. Breaking it down. So anyway, we were typing back and forth to each other. And he said he was watching them all. He's a night watchman at a hotel in England. So I was like, that's awesome. Thank you very much. I was very happy for it. So I said, you know what? Send me your address. I'll send you a couple decals. Just a little thank you. You know what I mean? Well, it was in, like in England. So it had this funny address. And I didn't understand it. Blah, blah, blah. Come to find out he had a, uh, an iPhone. So did I. So we FaceTime. Ended up becoming really good friends. Um, so I was talking to him while I was FaceTiming him, and I decided to tinker a little bit, and what I ended up doing was I pulled the battery out from underneath the seat, because I've removed the one from the rack, now I'm removing the one from under the seat, um, I'm gonna clean out the tray, clean up the wiring, and get new batteries. Oh, oh, mud removal. Okay. Just toss it on the floor. Not onto the tools, but on the floor, there you go, drop it. Come on, keep going. He doesn't realize I'm going to make him clean the pile up off the floor after. Man, it's not a lot of dirt. I don't, I don't think he's done, are you? Yeah, there's still more over there. Huh? 
Learning to clean the shop is usually the first place you start in a shop. It's not a bad thing. You're a good boy. Um, <clears throat> put enough gas in just to make sure all the connections are all tight. They should be fine. It shouldn't leak, but just in case. Gas. What were you fixing? A bolt. No, not the right size. You know, there's a video of you years ago on this channel yep. where you were saying it was the right size. It was the right size. At least this time you've got both your shoes on. Yep. Well, they're not really shoes. They're boots. I got a bolt that fits it. I got the right size. <laughs> Daddy, come here. Funny guy. Well, there it is, y'all. Um, you've seen it. Uh, no fuel leaks. Fuel filter filled up. Everything's fine. Um, I did just do a quick little connection here on the charging wire um <clears throat> just to go back you know into the solenoid to recharge the batteries um i gotta go to the store grab a battery for there and a battery for back love my double batteries um that's it man uh and then obviously i gotta throw the hood back on but i'll spare you that crap um anyway tell me what you think tell me what you thought any questions let me know and if you're still watching, um, put down in the comments what part I used that wasn't factory. Just put it down in the comments. I just want to see how many people actually watch to the end. That's all. Um, all right. Well, there it is. Tune up on Castle. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. Leave some comments. If you want to hit the thumbs down, that's fine. Just tell me why. Um, tell your friends and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and if you're subscribed make sure you hit that bell get them notifications all right we'll see you later um hopefully we got a ride coming up soon but it's quarantine and stuff so who knows but i need to get out and ride so you'll you'll see it when i do it